Hi there, welcome again. You see the mess here? This is what I'm gonna tackle this week. These are all my electronic supplies which I use on a daily day to basis if I'm working on an electronics project. Initially, I used to store all the electronic components in boxes like these and that served me well. But now it's getting out of control and I've moved to a new place. So I'm going to build a rack on the wall here so that I can stack all these cases inside it. And that's what we're gonna do today. So stick around. I start by ripping some 8mm MDF to thin strips. Each cell needs to be 80mm by 70mm so it can fit 3 boxes. So using a calculator I make the calculation and mark them on the MDF strips. Then I clamp all the strips together so that I can cut them all at the same time. Using a square I made sure that at least one side is flush. Then I bring my miter saw out. I set the blade height to half the height of the MDF. Then make series of cuts to create an 8mm gap. I make sure if it is cutting exactly half the height with the tape. Once the cutting is done, I can remove the clamps and clean some leftover pieces. Because the MDF was 8mm, the cut gap also had to be 8mm. This way when I insert the pieces crosswise, they are a good friction fit. No glue is required and the box remains square. And for some pieces which refused to go in, a little preservation was given with my mallet. Now to create the casing to hold the rack, I used 18mm plywood. I stuck double sided tape so I can create dados using the router. I transferred the box measurements to create dados. The solid lines are where the dados are required and the dotted lines are where I have to keep the fence so that the router can ride along. Because my router bit wasn't wide enough, I had to nudge my fence a little bit to create the correct dado width. Once the dados are done, I can add some glue and attach it to the rack. Then I simply butt joint the sides with glue and some screws. Here is the assembled rack that needs something just to add glass doors. And these are those hinges. It's made of stainless steel and goes on the sides like this. To attach the hinges, I create a gap using chisel on the sides and mount it with screws. Here, all the four hinges are mounted. Then I took it outside to give it a simple paint job. So initially I thought I will put two screws over here and then hang it with this. But then later I found that 
it's just MDF and it might bend. So I thought I will use a backup board like this. And if I screw it in all the sides, then that will carry the entire weight of this. Drilling holes on the backup board first was a great idea because I can easily set it on the wall and mark where the holes needed to be drilled. It would have been difficult otherwise. The backup board gets attached using glue and screws. Finally, I can hoist the rack on the wall. Man, that was heavy. These are the hinges that are going to hold the glass pieces. If you see on the top, there is a plate here. Actually, I should have flipped it and put it down here and that way this thing will hold the weight of the glass it's there for everything i seem to have mounted them right but then i have flipped the entire board and i have put it upside down so also i have already cut some ridges here and i've put it here so i'm not going to be able to mount the glass this way and that's why i'm going to use these acrylic sheets these are 4 mm thick and they are clear acrylic sheets I'm going to remove this and then mount them here I just wanted to show you that these are supposed to be mounted here and on the top and not somewhere in the between the screws that come with the hinges have the silicone pads that help hold the glass better in my case, the acrylic sheet. I used a toothpick as shims while screwing the acrylic sheet in place. These are magnetic stoppers which hold the door in place and it comes with this plate which I can attach to the glass. I epoxied the plate to the sheet and let it cure overnight. And here it is, I have already started arranging some boxes. Hope you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please follow me on Instagram at MrJCRP. Until next time, happy learning.